All right, happy Sunday morning, quarterback. Uh, Huskers, a victory, 17-9. Uh, Man, it wasn't pretty, but it is a win. I want to start with this, Sean. You know, a year ago, 11-point lead against Northwestern, and Nebraska found a way to lose. They found a way to lose. On Saturday, they found a way to win. A big difference. Yeah, I thought it was really interesting that Matt Rule brought that up because mm -hmm. he wasn't even a right part of away. that. But he felt and remembered what that moment probably meant to those kids. I mean, here we are over the over, overseas in Dublin, Ireland, and Nebraska is about to win in front of 15, 20,000 Husker fans in Dublin, up 11, and they blew it. And it changed the season. It got a coach fired. It changed everything about uh, that year for that team. And I think this team, the way they responded. Now, granted, Northwestern's in a similar situation. They battled hard. Uh, but this is an extremely limited Nebraska team. I'm not sure, Andy, I've ever seen a Nebraska offense this limited in terms of receiving options and just – the overall arsenal of weapons they have available right yeah, now. Yeah, it's hold your breath time with Billy Kemp, who went down with a knee injury on the same play. Ethan Piper goes down. Tommy Hill left the game. But back to receivers, man, they're really going to have to lean on some of those youngsters moving forward. Yeah, I don't really know what the winning formula is. I mean, you go back to, you know, you think about when Xavier Betts left. Okay, that's a big, big blow, but they got enough. And then Isaiah Garcia Castaneda goes down with an injury. Then Marcus Washington goes down with an injury. Now Billy Kemp. I mean, so four of what would be your top five receivers are now out with injuries for this football team or one in Betts' case left the program. So it is dire at this point. And Malachi Coleman has to get going. Obviously, Alex Bullock needs to serve a role. And you even saw Fedoni kind of splitting out more. Mm -hmm. uh, but they just got to figure out ways – uh, because they are so limited right now with that position. Nebraska seems to have figured things out on defense. Man, they were outstanding Saturday. Yeah, Tony White is earning every dollar of that contract right now, just getting that group going, the tackling, the physicality, the pass rush, eight sacks for Nebraska, an interception, several quarterback hurries. That was the story because Northwestern, you know, really never felt comfortable. They had a couple that they chucked up there and they made a player two on, but I thought Nebraska then responded. They, they made – three touchdown saving tackles Malcolm Hartstock Omar Brown and then Isaac Gifford on a blitz seven was able to peel back and prevent a screen they had the right call on that blitz and Gifford was able to get back there and stop what would have been maybe a touchdown yeah holding those touchdowns or turning those touchdowns into field goals so big you know Nebraska holding back-to-back -back conference opponents to single digits hasn't happened in 13 years and that's where they're at now and they're going to need this thing because moving forward they're going to hand the ha have to hand hang their hat on their defense. Say, Easy for me to say. How many H's yeah, was that I in a row, by the way? Let's look Heinrich Harburg <laughs> in that there, too. But, um, yeah, you, you talk about Purdue now. I mean, it's going to be a similar kind of game. This is not a Jeff Brown Purdue. It's going to be defensive style game. I think the edge this upcoming week, it's going to be here again. And I think being at home, 230 homecoming, you, you just hope this team can lift up again because uh, – this team's battling right now. I mean, they are so limited, but the defense is playing at a high level. And as long as the special teams plays like they did today, I mean, you hate to use – I mean, it's like Iowa is like this infectious disease that's infected every team in the West not to play <laughs> offense, but let's play defense and special teams, right. and, and that's Nebraska right now. And it's led by the polar bear because he's really playing the best defense you've seen uh, by defensive lineman in years. Yeah, he is an all-Big Ten level player. I don't know if it's second, third, whatever, but – he has been unstoppable on the interior uh, with what he's brought to the table. And you talk about year-over-year -year improvement. He's as improved year-over-year -year as any player right now on this football team. Well, the Huskers now at 4-3 and three overall. They are 2-2 two and two in the Big Ten. They will go for three straight victories on homecoming Saturday, next Saturday, when they host Purdue.